Hi all, welcome back to a new video on the channel. It's another day and it's another trip to Hewish Park. We're going to watch Yeovil Town FC take on Braintree Town FC. Let's go do it. Starting with the home side, Yeovil Town FC. As we all well know, they are top of the table, having a great season. They are loving life. They do also have a really good chance to go on a 10-game winning streak. They're nine games unbeaten in all competition, all nine being wins. It's a really, really good chance for Yeovil to keep great momentum ahead of really, really big fixtures, including that FA Cup one as well. Braintree Town, on the other hand, not a side to be messed with this season. They obviously do sit 13th in the table. They are sitting mid-table. It isn't an awful start for them. But they are currently seven games unbeaten in the league. Uh, so it's going to be a really tough side for Yeovil to break down. And as well as that, if you want to stat you Braintree fans, uh, Braintree Town, no one has conceded less than them in the league this season. In 13 games, they have conceded 12 goals. So they're not even conceding a goal goal on average a game. It is fantastic stuff. They're going to be a really difficult side to break down. Can't wait for this one. Uh, it's all set up to be a banger. It's a bit of a shame the weather ain't a bit better, but oh well, we're going to get out there, enjoy it, get some predictions, have a pint of the burger and uh, go smash it. See you there. We're one hour till kickoff. It's time for predictions. Just me and Arvi today. No James is playing football, but my prediction, short and sweet, done it already. 3-1 Yeovil. Harvey, predictions please, mate. Come predictions. on. I'm going for 10 in a row. I'm oh. going to go for a 1-0 Yeovil win. 1-0 Yeovil. Nice and calm. Yeovil town today as well. All pink today. Uh, supporting breast cancer. Uh, Harvey, give us a bit of background. What, what is it? So, at, at Yeovil Hospital? It's for Yeovil Hospital. So, all the donations will go to Yeovil Hospital for uh, breast cancer. So, lovely little touch from the club, I must admit. Really, really nice little touch. Um, yeah, we're here now, so we're going to get in the stadium, maybe get some food, I'm not sure yet, um, and go enjoy the match day because it's even stopped raining. <laughs> Oh, hot dog, football, hot dog, football. Hot dog, mate, nice. Hot dog, football. <laughs> I'll tell you what, away fans are quite lively. I think every other seat today has one of these as well. Nice little touch, Oval Town FC. Very, very classy. Wave that around. This hot dog is huge. Look at the size of it. It's got to respect the commitment. I've got to admit, first half an hour has been pretty boring. Matty Warburton, nice little dink over the keeper. You saw it on the way back, didn't you? Nice and close up. 1 0. I don't want Yeovil to score anymore. I don't want Brain to score anymore because I predict it was 1 0. So I hope it stays like that. What do you think of the Very goal, though? Good goal? Fast goal. What the keeper's little, doing out I, there. I don't. He's in no man's land. What he's doing no out man's there. land. He's box. I do not know. But Yeovil 1 0 up. Box. Matty Warburton, Yeovil 1. Braintree nil. That goal has definitely got the home fans a bit livelier than they were. Braintree out here making subs in the 39th minute. Very bizarre, isn't it, mate? Manager's clearly not happy. With no. Awful game. No, it doesn't. Doesn't even look like he was injured, to be honest. So, yeah, not going well for Braintree. Not created much. time to say that was the most eventful first half would be a bit of a lie it was quite boring to watch a uh, great goal for Matty Worthington to be fair uh, Braintree had a chance late on I think they had a crossbar as well from a cross um, but 
Yeovil probably deservedly got the lead. Been the better side on the ball. Anything, yeah. anything I haven't really said there, mate? No, you've nailed it, mate. Boring game. Yeovil's had one clear chance and scored it. On, on to the second half, I suppose. Second half, it's Baltic. Rain's pouring. Gotta get some goals, haven't we? Surely a few goals. No, mate, we don't want any more goals because someone predicted 1 0. Braintree 3 over 1. Whip it, then. This is some proper, proper British weather. As a West Ham fan, I love the charm. Irons. He's been pretty poor as well, hasn't he? But he gets the goal, seals all three points. Yeovil are going to stay top of the league for another week. Unbelievable stuff. Not ideal, mate. Not ideal. Quick post match. Yeovil 2 0 winners, top of the league. It's soaking. I'm soaked, coat soaked. It's been a great day. Uh, Elle's driving us back. Time to just go home and get warm and get warm shower. Look at this guy. He's livid. <laughs> top of the league, though, mate. Top of the league, mate. Up the Oval or not? Fucking Up the so bloody Oval. <laughs> There you have it, I'm home. Um, sorry this vlog, uh, perhaps a bit all over the place. The weather was so poor, um, didn't want to get the camera out too much. Um, it was just a manic day. Uh, but the National League South, uh, like the weather, like the day I've just had, manic as well. Uh, some of the results were ridiculous. Yo, obviously the game I watched, 2-0. Um, a deserved win. Braintree didn't really create much. Um, and at the end of the day, Yeovil yet again, uh, getting one early, getting one late, seeing all three points, top of the league. Uh, Bath losing to Worthing. What a great game that is. Hampton and Richmond, as I predicted, beating Torquay. Torquay really, really struggling for some form at the moment. Uh, my beloved Darts, don't want to talk too much on that. Losing again. Um, Hemel Hempstead winning 2-1. Really disappointing result for us after uh, some pretty decent form at the moment. So, uh, Nationally South really shaping up. Another great result for Avelu. Now jump into second place. Unbelievable stuff for them. It's just all so tight everywhere at the moment. It's a great little league and I can't wait to see what happens over the coming weeks and to see where we uh, end up around Christmas time. So there you have it. Another vlog done and dusted. Hope you did enjoy. And until the very next vlog, I'll see you around. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.